This tutorial covers the basic layers features in Adobe Photoshop CC. The layers feature is extremely useful when designing in Photoshop, especially when creating postcards or brochures. The layers feature allows you to edit and change sections separately. It also lets you revert to earlier versions of your work instead of just restarting from scratch. Usually, the Layers window will open automatically. If not, simply go to Window and then click Layers. Alright, let's get down to the basics. When you open a new document, your Layers window will look like this, a blank background layer that is locked. If you wish to unlock the background, simply click the padlock icon. To help you understand how layers work, we're going to look at a completed postcard. In the Layers window, each row is a separate layer. Layers can only be edited when they are selected. Next to each layer, you'll notice an eye switch. This lets you turn layers on and off. Layers that are turned off cannot be edited. To create a new layer, click the layer icon at the bottom of the window. Layers can be rearranged in the layers window. This affects the top to bottom order in the workspace. Rearranging layers is just like stacking cards. To delete a layer, simply drag it to the trash bin icon. You can also right click and select delete layer. Selecting a layer and hitting the delete key on your keyboard also works. You can also duplicate layers. Simply right click on a layer and select duplicate layer. Another useful function is the opacity control. With a layer selected, you can decrease the opacity using this slider. It ranges from 0, not visible, to 100%, fully visible. This is helpful in creating transparency effects. Sometimes, you may want to combine layers into one. This is called merging layers. To do this, select two or more layers holding down Shift. Now right-click on any of these layers and select Merge Layers. Notice there's also options to merge visible or to flatten image. These will combine all of your layers into one. There's no going back from this. A better option is stamping the layers. This creates a new layer that includes the content of the selected layers. To do this, select the layers you want to stamp and hit Control, Alt, E on Windows or Command, Option, E on Macs. When arranging layers, you may find you want to move pairs or groups of layers together. This is called linking layers. Do this by holding shift and selecting two or more layers. Then click the link button at the bottom of the layers window. You can now move these layers as a unit without merging them. Linked layers also transform as a single unit in the workspace. One more quick function to help you keep your layers organized is groups. Groups don't actually affect how your design looks. It just helps you stay organized, much like folders on your desktop. Create a new group by clicking the folder icon at the bottom of the layers window. You might want to keep your text layers and artwork separate. Double click on the group and name it text. Now drag your text layers into the group. Create a second group called Artwork, and drag the rest of your layers here. This is very useful for staying organized when you have a lot of layers that you're working with. These are the basic functions of layers in Adobe Photoshop CC. Use these tips to get started on your print project today!